Hey guys, welcome to SugarMD channel. Today we are talking about the effect of protein on your blood sugars. Let's get started. So guys, I'm uh, Dr. Ahmed Ergin. I'm an endocrinologist and diabetes education specialist. And I get this question all the time. Doc, I'm not eating any carbs. Why is my blood sugar is going up? So, here's the answer. Guys, protein also increases blood sugar. If you are a type 1 diabetic, you will clearly see that a lot easier. But if you're an insulin resistant type 2 diabetic, when I say insulin resistant, like really insulin resistant type 2 diabetic, and maybe a less insulin production overall compared to a newbie type 2 diabetic, let's say you're 20 years of a veteran type 2 diabetic, you're more likely to see these spikes with protein in your blood sugar. Well, I'll uh, tell you why. The protein actually increases the gluconeogenesis in your liver. Now, most people think that the protein doesn't spike blood sugar because most people are immediately concerned about the blood sugar spike right after a meal. Well, on the other hand, they don't realize or they don't pay attention to what happens five, six hours after a meal by the time they're either sleeping or they're busy doing something or they're ready for the next meal, right? So five hours is a long time in between meals. Now. But what happens with the protein is your blood sugar really starts going up five, six hours after a high protein meal. Now, I'm not just saying that based on the experience that has also been studied. Studies show that on average, actually, the effect of protein is five times less than glucose in terms of spiking the blood sugar. Now, let's put it in the numbers. If you are eating 100 grams of protein, and in the United States, that's really not uncommon. We like beef here, okay? We like the meat. We got the bees, like the Arby's commercial. We got the meat. So, meat. People love meat here. That's why we have a lot of cancer. But regardless, so the meat, 100 grams of protein, will, think about this, if you divide it by 5, that's almost equal to 20 grams of sugar. So most of you like, you know, of course I want to eat sugar, try to avoid sugar, but then trying to compensate with eating a lot of protein. Yeah, your know, blood sugar may not spike within the first two hours. You may be like, oh, I did well. And then you may wake up in the morning with a high blood sugar, like what happened? Ho oh, ho, right? So, or you may just eat a breakfast and then, but you had a bunch of salami, sausage and all that stuff. And by afternoon, you're like, why is my blood sugar high? I didn't eat like for six hours. I should be low by now, right? So that is protein. Let me show you something. Okay, let's review what's happening to this patient. So here you can see this individual claims to eat zero carbs, no carbs whatsoever. And uh, this patient has actually type two diabetes and eating no carbs at all. If you can see here, this person is, for example, here eating a lunch, and then the blood sugar is slowly creeping up. Right around there at 3 to 4 o'clock, the blood sugars are high, right? There's no immediate spike, but it's slowly creeping up. Same thing happening. That's after midnight. I think he had a late meal over there. And in the mornings, the blood sugar tend to spike more with pretty much any meal. So you can see that here. But you can see it here as well. Again, you know, you're seeing this slow creeping up. Another one here, these slow increases in, in the blood sugar are typically happening with protein ingestion. And if you're ingesting only like, you know, 20, 30 grams of protein, 40 grams of protein, that's not going to be significant. Because again, remember, one-fifth turns into sugar. But if you're eating 7,500 grams of protein, that is going to haunt you, man. Now, what is the solution to that? I would say same thing, portion control. If you're not controlling yourself and eating like a whole chicken at one seating, that is not going to help you, my friend, in any way. So uh, moderation, moderation, moderation. No matter what you're eating, you have to pay attention to what is going to your stomach. So again, a couple tips for you. Eat slow, chew, chew, chew. Chew as long as you can take longer time to finish that meal 
do not eat fast. When you eat fast, your body does not have time to realize what is really going on and how much food is coming in. It could be sugar, carb, protein, fat, doesn't matter. If you ingest it fast enough, you're not going to realize how much calories you're putting in and eventually those things will end up catching up with you and will turn into sugar. So, guys, I hope that was helpful. I'll see you in the next video. Remember to like, remember to give a thumbs up. Hey, guys, I hope you're enjoying this channel so far, and I hope you subscribed already. If you didn't, do it. And if you did, watch this video right there. I think that will help you too.